Let's talk more specifically about client records and confidential client information. This is keeping the client's information confidential. You're not going to go blast out and tweet, oh, wow, this client actually has $10 million of extra money that no one knew about. Or, oh, they're so in debt. Ha ha, look at them. <laughs> You're not going to go out and blast them on social media. I mean, there's many other instances of keeping confidentiality, but that's just my fun way of uh, introducing the topic. This rule is designed to protect the confidentiality of client information. The rule requires that CPAs take reasonable steps to safeguard client information from unauthorized access or disclosure. So what is that reasonable action? You're not going to you know, store client records in a, in a vault 5,000 feet below the ground or anything like that. Right? But what's reasonable is that you send it through uh, verified mail services and you're not going to just, if something's critically important, you're not going to just randomly email it. No, you're going to you know, use some sort of uh, secure software that will help you send something you know, or store it. You're not going to just randomly keep everything in a file drawer that's unlocked, that's in the middle of a public area. You're going to do something that is reasonable, reasonable steps to ensure that information is accurate and complete and stored and not able to be stolen or manipulated. The rule applies to all client information, regardless of the medium in which it's stored, whether that's paper, electronic, etc. Client information is pretty much everything. It's information about a client's financial condition, its tax status, business affairs, anything about the client. When in doubt, keep it confidential. The rule prohibits unauthorized disclosure of client information. Unauthorized disclosure includes, but is not limited to disclosing information to third parties, talking about it on the train on your way into work, or you know, just blabbering on about it at lunch disclosing client information to persons who are not authorized to receive it. If you are talking with a fellow audit team member in the conference room at the office, that's fine. If you're talking about client information with your spouse at dinner, that is not fine because your spouse, I presume, is not authorized to be you know, involved in this transaction, in this engagement. The rule also requires CPAs to take reasonable steps to ensure that client information is accurate and complete. In order to do this, you have to have procedures in place to verify the accuracy of client information, which really just substantive procedures, and must update client information on a timely basis. This rule applies to all CPAs, regardless of whether they're in public practice, industry, government, or education. So it applies to everyone there, not specifically just to public practice. Hey there, are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material. We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together.